All right, um, I guess kind of the heart of the stoichiometry chapter, the, though at this point it, it, it's not, not the, the most uh, notes that we'll be taking, it's just kind of a review. All right, the coefficients in a balanced equation give us a mole ratio. A mole ratio will allow us to go from moles of one substance to moles of another within that same reaction. So let's look at that in terms of a general compound. For example, if I have so many grams of substance A, how can I determine how many grams of substance B that's going to be produced? Well, I can go from grams of substance A by using the molar mass, which we get from our periodic table. You should remember that will get, allow us to go from grams to moles. All right, well, once we get the moles of substance A, we can use the balanced chemical equation to give us our mole ratio to go to moles of substance B. We get our coefficients for our mole ratio from the coefficients in the balanced chemical equation. That allows us to go from moles of one substance to moles of the next or to moles of substance B. Then once we're moles of substance B we simply just use the molar mass to go from moles to grams. Remember we get the molar mass from the periodic table. So let, let's summarize that up or let's look at an example problem. For example if I have the combustion of um, sucrose. Okay, If I start with one gram of sucrose, I can go from grams of sucrose to moles of sucrose by using the molar mass. Okay, I get this molar mass from the periodic table, then I'm in moles of sucrose. Well, I can go from moles of sucrose to moles of water, because it's asking us how much water is going to be produced, by using the mole ratio. This mole ratio we get from the balanced chemical equation. For every one mole of sucrose, we're going to produce six moles of water. We get these two numbers, our coefficients, from the coefficients in the balanced chemical equation. All right, once I'm in moles of water, I can then simply go back to grams of water by using the molar mass from the periodic table of elements. All right, using the molar mass from the periodic table. And that'll give me grams of water produced. Very simple calculation. At this point, after we performed all the other calculations, this seems like a piece of cake.